What's going on everybody? It's your boy Zoe with No Days Off DFS here to bring you a new series that I'm going to start on the channel. New, but somewhat old because it is price picks and it is dealing with props. If you guys are new here and you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe so you do not miss any more of these future videos right here. So real quick, explain what I'm going to be doing right here over on price picks. If you guys don't got an account and you want one, check the link down in the description below so you guys get the deposit match bonus. Join me over here. Pretty much, we're just picking player props, deciding if the player is going to go over, under, more or less, making a two, three, four, five, or six flex slip, and trying to cash out. Now, over on Prize Picks, they have introduced something called the Popular Tab. Pretty much, this is just a lot of props that people are on. 32.7 thousand people are on Donovan Mitchell to go over his rebounds and assists, so on and so forth for all these players that are up here. Uh, we have a small four-game slate, so not a lot of props up here. Sometimes this board will be filled with maybe 30 props. Sometimes it is legit filled with only 10 props. Uh, we're going to go through these props. I'm going to pick the ones that I think are the best, whether it's going to be over or under, and I'm going to run that. This is literally no days off versus prize picks right now. It's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Might try to upload this daily. Uh, that is going to be the goal, but only using what is up here on the popular tab is how I'm going to play this. So pretty much this is the public's opinion on how these plays should go. Of course, the players are human. There's no telling what can happen, but I think it's a pretty good idea and uh let's just get more exposure to props and things like that i know you guys have been wanting more prop plays i generally don't like to play props but because i do all the dfs research i go ahead and i try to give you guys some props and i normally do list those on my patreon on my favorite prop plays whenever i do the uh nba uh, player pool so definitely check that out if you guys are looking for other props besides these right here so looking at it um i've already pulled up how i'm going to research and look at the, the data points for this i'm only going to be using two sites well three if you want to include price picks but i'm only going to be using two sites to do this one this is going to be just literally just touching the iceberg i'm not going to look past uh last game 10 uh, last 10 game logs home and road splits like that's all i'm going to look at i'm not going to go too deep into this um so if you guys want to follow this slip like i said i will post it on the patreon i will post it on the uh on x on twitter and of course if you watch this video through and you like the resource process that goes into it maybe you might adapt this for yourself and you can follow this stuff too so starting out we're going to start with donovan mitchell these rebounds and assists right now sitting at 12 like i said it was at 11.5 earlier looking at donovan mitchell he is on the road today so we're going to look at his away uh game logs for this game and looking over his last couple of games we're going to see out of his last 10 how many times has he actually gone over if it's going to be 60 or six to seven games that he's actually gone over i will consider taking it over on this if it's going to be less than 50 percent, like if he's only gone over in his last three four then i'll take the under if it's 50 percent, then i'll save it for the end maybe i'll come back to it and decide if i want to take the over or the under on it now looking at his uh game logs for it he's gone over here 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 uh that what six eight here 14 here Wow, he's actually gone over quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, no, no. So out of his last seven, so seven. Seven out of his last 10 games, he has actually hit the over on um, the 12 rebounds and assists. Even with uh, Darius Garland in or out, I honestly think that doesn't matter, especially after looking at um, what he put up last night. I know this is not the game they played last night, but last night he still went off in regards to that as well. Um, I will consider taking the over for Donovan Mitchell in this one right here. Now, if you want to go a little bit deeper, we can go over to Line Star. Let's type in Donovan Mitchell, see if he's actually played going up against the Memphis Grizzlies so far this season. So far, he has not. So I can't even look at the last game log history for this. But right now, Donovan Mitchell over for his 12 rebounds and assists is going to be one prop that I'm going to go ahead and take uh, already. All right, next game up, we got uh, Ju Oh, not next game up, but next player, we got Jeru Holiday for his uh, points. They have him at 14. Looks like going down here to this Detroit game will be the last game. That'll make it up to 10. Looking through his game logs, he's gone over one, two, three four five i'm gonna count this uh utah game even though it's a push as a five so he's 50 50 in regards to this so this will be a player i can come back to to decide whether or not if we're gonna take the over or the under on that one i'm gonna hold out on that uh, before i even decide so just gonna go straight on over to anthony davis let's go ahead and figure out ad actually you know what going back to drew holiday let's look over on line star and see last game you played against the lakers he actually went over so i can take that into account when i actually come down to it um right now i'm gonna lean to the over on it especially just looking over his last couple of games last two games he went over at home that game against the clippers pretty good defensive team he went under right there in that one and then of course the prior two games before that he did hit the over um so definitely something to consider right here plus the looking at the lakers metrics they are giving up a pretty good chunk of points to opposing point guards and um honestly if you want to you probably could look at his fantasy point 
as well. So uh, right now, kind of a lean towards his over, but definitely be something that I will consider and take. But right now, for sure, Donovan Mitchell is going to be uh, definitely over. Looking at Anthony Davis, we got three props up here for AD, uh, 15 rebounds and assists, 25 points, and then 19 and a half um, points as a goblin down there. Going to go ahead and look at AD's game logs. All right, so pulling up AD over here on Stat Muse, coming down here to the San Antonio Spurs. That's going to be the last game that we have to worry about right here. Uh, looking at his rebounds and assists, just straight off the cuff, we can see he went over here. One, two, three, four, um, five. So five. So he's 50% in regards to that. Now looking at the 25 points, of course, I can tell you straight out the gate, the Goblin play, that one's pretty easy. It looks like he has gone over or pushed. Make sure it's not a 19 and a half. All right, so 19 and a half. Uh, he has gone over or he has pushed in... Do, 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 do. looks like eight out of his last 10 games um, on the road he has gone over that right there and then if we're looking at the actual 25 points he has gone over in one two three four five six so this one's kind of leaning towards the 60 percent let's go ahead let's pull up anthony davis here um i know for sure we can go ahead we can take that the goblin he's gone over for sure on his points um going up against them earlier in the season and then looking at his rebounds and his assists he's gone over that as well so um right now his rebounds and assists that was leaning as 50 50 looks like his points might be a stronger one especially this goblin play that one's going to be pretty much a no-brainer i definitely wouldn't mind taking this goblin i know it's going to be a discount if we do actually take it uh for the over but definitely something to consider um for sure his the regular points i do like the the over for that one right there looking at uh, anthony davis as you can see it's not the greatest, uh, but they are giving up 6.9 field goals to opposing centers, meaning they're giving up a pretty good chunk of points to opposing centers going up against the Boston Celtics. So um, definitely the over regular one or the Goblin are two good plays right there. I know he has good history right now for his rebounds and assists, so that was more of a lean. But right now, it looks like we have a stronger play in regards to his points um, for either the Goblin or the regular one. Pulling up LeBron James. Let's check out LeBron's stat. All right, so LeBron James, his um, 2024 game logs for his away game. Going out here to the OKC game. We want to see if we can't get LeBron for either the 19 and a half points or his 24 and a half points. Already looking at Bron, the 19 and a half points, that definitely is good to go. 100% on the road so far this season. Now, as far as his um, 24 and a half points, looks like he's only gone over in one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he's gone over in six. Let's see if we can't pull up Bron for regular. This might actually be a pretty good game. So when he played against Boston, he only has 16 points in that game earlier. Boston has actually been pretty good against the opposing power forwards, not giving up too many points right there. Right now, it's looking like Anthony Davis will be the much better play. Um, in my DFS breakdown, they did talk about how I think Braun, he should come out locked in. Uh, you're calling out your teammates, you're putting up the hourglasses, and hey, some things need to change. I feel pretty safe taking LeBron James for the 19 and a half. Uh, he's pretty much 100%. Of course, as you can see, last five, he's 100%. But on the road, he's been 100% in regards to at least getting 20 points in all of his games. So I do like the upside for that one right there. We do know pretty much when it comes down to the Lakers, it's LeBron James, it's Anthony Davis. Then it's either Austin Reeves or um, D'Angelo Russell in regards to who's going to actually score. I don't mind uh, taking LeBron James at that 19 and a half. Uh, right now, definitely uh, Donovan Mitchell leaning right here for Drew Holiday. Anthony Davis, I don't mind either one of the 19 and a half or the 25 uh, points. And then right now, LeBron James at 19 and a half, that looks pretty safe. Looks pretty safe that we can actually go ahead and take the over on that one right there. So um, right now I'm going over. I think I will take the 25 for uh, Anthony Davis. And right now, I'm leaning the 19 and a half for LeBron James just to be safe. I understand it's going to be a disc discount, but still, it's, it's, it still can equal out to at least a six flex. So uh, we got two more, well, three more plays to go over. We got Colin Sexton, Lord Larkin, and Jason Tatum. Uh, pulling up, next one's going to be uh, Colin Sexton. Looking at his game logs for what he's done at home. And at home, Colin Sexton plays very, very well uh, when you look at, at, at his home and his row splits. Um, looking at it at home, going over those 19 points, he's gone over pretty much in nine out of his last 10 games. Um, this is should be a pretty decent matchup for him here going up against Philly. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, he is currently questionable right now. And Sexton, like, I mean, at home, he's been a beast playing against him earlier this season. He dropped 22 points. Really do like it already. The over 19 points, I will take that. Like I said, at home, they, kind of the home sold me on it already because I know he plays better at home from just a DFS perspective. And I do like his fantasy points if you want to take that instead. But already smashing the over on Colin Sexton uh, for that. Pulling up his counter, his uh, other guy over here, Lord Larkin, looking at his game logs for what he's done while he's been at home. Same thing going out here to the New York Knicks game. Let's see, he's gone over one two, three, four, five, six. So six of those games, pulling them up over here on Line Star, Larry Larkin in, going up against Philly. He had 
13 rebounds. So uh, he kind of meets my threshold for both of those. So I would take the over on both of these. You can definitely take the under, but going up against uh, Paul Reed, uh, Tobias Harris down there, I'm not going to worry about either one of those guys. Lori, he should be able to go ahead and yank those rebounds. He has rebounded much better at home. Uh, just looking at the metrics, looking at what he's done through his game logs. And um, over here, Philly, they're giving up eight rebounds a game to opposing power forward. So that grades out pretty well for Lori Larkin. I see why 15.3 thousand people are on that play right there. And then last but not least, we got Jason Tatum sitting out here at that 27.5 um, points right there. Looking at his last couple of game logs at home, what he's actually done for this. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Last 10, he's gone over 1, 2, 3, 4. Nope, not 4. 4, 5. So 5 of them. So he's sitting at 50%. Looking at Tatum. We might end up with just a 5 slip right here. Um, only dropped 25 going up against them early this season. I understand that they are giving up some pretty good numbers to opposing power forwards, but it's kind of leaning just a little bit too close for comfort for me in regards to Jason Tatum. So I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not going to force it uh, in regards to just going ahead and playing Jason Tatum. So right now I got uh, Donovan Mitchell. I am going to go ahead and take Drew Holiday. Um, I said I will take LeBron James do, 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 and I will take uh, Anthony Davis. So right now we already have two, four. We have actually six players right here that we're going to be taking. Of course, I understand taking this LeBron James one. It is going to lower the um the payout that it could be instead of being a 25x for playing six players we're gonna be looking at a 15x but still 15x i will go ahead and take that i'm gonna put 20 bucks on this uh for it to hit 20 bucks turning into that 15x is gonna be 300 bucks uh, not a bad line at all looks pretty good i do like the upside for all these plays hopefully we'll see if the community tab comes through for us and if this does actually hit and can um works out can't wait to actually do this again tomorrow uh, with Flex Friday. We could actually use the Flex Friday promo to actually hit this and go ahead and do it. Um, if you guys like it, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this, this series that I do plan on doing over here. Um, definitely hit the like button if you guys did enjoy it. Talk to me down in the comment section on some things you want to see me change in regards to going over this right here. Uh, of course, first time doing it, so a little clunky, but we'll work on this. We'll, we'll get it fixed. Um, with that being said, good luck, guys, and let me know if you guys tell. Peace.